Hey there! In this power-up, we will be working on using grid or table layouts. In this example, we want to show pictures of flowers displayed in a grid formation, as you can see in the preview. However, you can make your grid to show any types of components, not just images. Going back to the interface builder, we can see that the picture grid consists of two containers. The outer one forms the whole grid, and the inner one displays each image. The inner container's repeat with property is bound to a page variable called flowers, from which we can get the URLs to the images of the flowers. The grid layout is controlled by the styling of the outer container. Now let's do this from scratch. Let's start with an empty page where we will want to display our grid of images. I have my images already defined in the page variables as a list of objects called flowers. The schema for each object consists of an ID and a URL to the image. Let's add a container to the page and name it image grid. This container will hold all the images in a grid layout. Next, let's add a container within image grid and name it image. This container will hold each individual image. To show all images of flowers in our image container, let's go into the properties and bind it to the flowers page variable using the repeat with property. To learn more about repeat with, check out our power up about lists and repeats. Now you can see a ghost trail of image containers implicating that it is a repeating component. The container is still empty, so let's bind the background image of the container to the URL of each flower image with the help of a formula. The formula looks like this current URL. Now the images are shown in the interface builder, but the image does not show quite well. In the end, we would want the grid consisting of three images per row, so let's modify the image container's width to 32%, height to for example 100 pixels, and add some padding around the images. Now the images look better, but they are not yet displayed in a grid. To create a grid layout, we'll need to modify the styling of the outer container image grid. Choose the layout of the grid to be horizontal, and the container to wrap its children. That's it! Looking at the preview, we can see all our images in an even grid. We can also see that adjusting the image width affects how many images will fit on a single row. The same is true for adjusting the image grid width. I hope you enjoyed this power-up, and let's meet again soon!